Hello everybody and welcome back to War on the Sea. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are continuing our fight to push Japan out of the Guadalcanal region. So, let's get right into it. Now, in the last episode, things did not quite go to plan. That's for sure. But uh, Power Group 1 is headed back to, to port to re, uh, repair and rearm. And we also have Power Group 2 headed back up here. Now, Power Group 2 is slightly damaged. If you look, uh, North Carolina, I believe, has taken some damage uh, compartments and stuff like that. So we, we've got to be careful. Um, but we can't afford to have our battleship out of the the fight. We need to have a battleship in the area. Our, our submarines are not enough to hold these guys back. We've already seen that. They're pushing in. They're becoming more aggressive. We need to keep them back. So, we should have everybody already set up with what they're doing. Let's go ahead and max the timeout. And we are already in air operations available. Okay. Now, they've added some things to the, uh, to the game here. So, we're going to click on Power Group 2 and see if we can't uh, launch. Let's see, we can launch aircraft there. So... No ship selected. Okay, well, we know that uh, North Carolina has a plane, so let's just go ahead and launch aircraft. It is Kingfisher. And it has no ordnance. It's just a spotter. But we want to go ahead and launch that spotter. So, done. And then we want it to... Okay, this is all the new stuff. This is the spotting it's going to do. It's going to fly a circle, essentially, around us. So there you go. And then once it, re once it needs to refuel, it'll come back. Now, the reason we're doing this is to start having a little bit more spatial awareness for our fleets. Okay? Uh, we're going to do a similar thing here. We're going to select Alabama, we're going to launch aircraft, we're going to select a Kingfisher, and then we are going to uh, do the exact same thing with him. Give him a nice uh, search pattern, and go ahead and call that. And what that should do is allow these Kingfishers to automatically scout for us around our power groups. Okay. So that'll give us a little bit more of a picture of where or what's in the area near us. Because we've been getting ambushed a lot, and I don't want that to happen anymore. So these are all things that have come with newer updates since our last episode. I apologize for the long uh, laps in between vid videos, but I've been feeling a little off. I haven't really been able to... Oh, there we go. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We've got a submarine detected right here by our scout plane. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that we're going to be able to uh, do anything about it because our Kingfisher doesn't actually have anything, but we know that there is a submarine in the area. Uh, before, or even more than we'd have already had. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that uh, for now, but at least we know what's out there. And it is shadowing our power group, too. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and do it again. North Carolina, launch aircraft, a Kingfisher, done, and give me that same spotting, please. All right, now, we have Sneaky Boy 4, who is being attacked by two destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, so we are going to go ahead and begin this engagement. Growler, I'm going to need you to uh, be on point this time. A lot of things went horribly wrong in the last episode. So we're going to try to avoid that this time if we can. Let's go to our orders. We want to scope up. We want to rig for silent running. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, a look. There we go. We've got contact. Let's get out of the B mode. Select the first ship. You can see we're roughly on a uh, 
intercept course with them. So we're actually pretty much in a perfect position right now. You can see uh, this is Uh, is this the Miyoko? Let's, let's uh, go ahead and identify, shall we? We know it's Japanese. We'll go over to the Japanese. We know it's an armored cruiser. It's not Furry Taco. What about Miyoko? It is Miyoko. So we will go ahead and classify this as Miyoko. Let's go ahead and target this ship. And we will go ahead and classify this as Mogami. It is Mogami. So we'll go ahead and classify it as Mogami. Okay. Now, we are aiming for the Mogami because it is the closer ship. Let's look at our torpedo options, shall we? We have eight torpedoes in the nose. We can fire up to six in a spread. And we still have six torpedoes at the rear. So what I'm thinking of doing here is I'm going to go ahead and navigate a course uh, roughly this direction. Once we get turned, we should have a pretty solid... Uh, let's go ahead and stop that and then target this. This is the one we're wanting to shoot at. Once we get this going, once we get the turn, we should have a solid solution on the Mogami. So we'll see how we end up here. And we are going to launch four torpedoes with a three degree spread at the Mogami. We're already up to a 70% solution. 80%. All right, firing the front torps. Okay, we already paused. Those are already fired. Let's go ahead, deselect the front. We want to stop on the rear. We want to target the Miyoko. Restart. Let's turn the rear tubes on. And we're going to do the same thing, only with the rear, once we turn the ship. they doing? Do they already know we exist? They definitely seem to be taking some sort of evasive action. Or at least re redoing their formation. go ahead and fire the rear torps. Okay, so we just fired the rear and we fired the front. So we've got torps in the water here. I like that they're showing up here now. Let's go ahead and order the scope down. Let's get this ship moving as quickly as we can. Um, we'll even turn off silent running. Let's just go dive to 390. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get it much of a hit. I don't know why they all scrambled like the moment I launched my torps. I don't know if that was them detecting my torp launch or if they were just reshuffling their formation and we just happened to launch our torps at a bad time. But I, I wouldn't think that they would hear a torp launch from 5,000 yards. Like, 
That's a long shot. You can see torpedoes in the distance. Should be two sets of torps. We got those torps for sure. But I'm not sure where the other torps are. So. This guy seems to be headed right for our location, so I'd say they definitely picked me up. Do we have a layer? We do have a layer at 206 feet. So, hopefully they won't be able to hear us. And we are trying to scoot. We're at nine knots, so we're pretty noisy, but we're below the layer at 390 feet. Well, we're heading for 390. We're not there yet. We just now dropped below the layer. Okay, you can see these torps here. the other torques. Okay, okay, so this is the two sets of torques. Yeah, it's a complete miss. we can speed up time. Almost caught that destroyer. Yeah, they're turning away. Man, that was some really good action by them to avoid those torpedoes. All right, so now the scary part. We are operating at 390 feet, which we know we can do. Uh, let's try to leave the battle. Yep, we can leave right away so they don't actually have a lock on us. So. Well, that's unfortunate. It's real unfortunate. I don't know exactly how they heard, but they clearly got a pretty good bead on the fact that we launched torps at them because it was immediate. Once we launched torps, they immediately went evasive. Enemy ship spotted near Sneaky Boy 5. Okay. This is that same group. So let's go ahead and uh, begin the engagement. Same thing, except now we have all the torps. So scope up, rig for silent, start. out of bino target this guy this is mogami so let's identify it as japanese cruiser armor mogami or no 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 that's not mogami at all that's furry taco I don't know why I was thinking that was Mogami. Go ahead and call it Furitaka.
we're at 4,000 yards. And closing. What's our torque? We're at a 44% torque currently. Turn the bow in. These guys are in the middle of, of reshuffling again. Let's just wait. No need to rush. Not yet, anyway. Let's go ahead and slow down. Reduce our speed to a crawl. that we're under ultra quiet. I mean, I'm thinking about shooting at the... Uh, let's target... Target this guy. Classify it. What did we say it was? Miyoko? Nope, not Miyoko. Takao? Yep, Takao. Okay, torpedoes. Stop and retarget Takao. We're 3,600 yards from them. Get a little bit closer. What I'm thinking is that we'll be able to uh, launch on the Takao and potentially have a secondary target of uh, Miyoko or Furitaka. So that's the thought process. And what we're going to do is because we don't have a very good solution, I'm going to launch all six torpedoes from the front and I'm going to put a five degree spread. So let's just go ahead and launch those now. And then we want to go to orders, break, navigate, away. And the thought process is to hopefully come up with a hit on either of them, but preferably a kill, but if we can, at least a hit. They don't appear to be making any sudden moves, so that's a good thing. Remember, we were launching at the Takao. This is not the Takao. What am I looking at? There we go. So 
torpedoes are closing in pretty pretty quickly. There's not much of a room to miss here because, I mean, when you look at the two ships, that's quite a lot of distance. So if I can hit both of them, that'd be great. Of course, I would love to hit the Takao. We've already hit the Takao multiple times. And uh, it's listing hard to port. So I'm hoping that we can knock it out completely. Now we ought to be getting ready to see the torps coming in. I don't know how easy it'll be to see them at night, but Lord knows I can't see much of anything. So I doubt that they will either. Torps are getting much closer. Come on, baby. Torps are looking really good on track to intercept. I just wish I could see. Could be a glorious strike. We are opening up the distance now between us. I'm going to go ahead and change targets again. Stop. Change targets back to Furitaka. And prepare to fire the rear torpedo tubes. Still can't see. Oh, there we go. There we have them. They are looking pretty solid. Let's hope that they're not duds. Am I right? That is a pretty solid looking uh, strike here on the furry taka. Come on, baby. Don't be duds, man, please. One detonation. Come on, man. Two. Give me a second one. Two detonations. Can we get a third? I think it's going to outrun us. But we are turning away. No, not going to get it. That leaves four torps to get through to potentially hit the Takao. So we got two good hits on Furutaka. Looks like we're going to get at least one here on the Takao, if we're lucky. Looks good. Ah, only just missed. Only just missed. Okay. Um... We do have no solution on Furitaka. Minos up. Look at the target. Twenty percent solution. Back down to a three, three degree spread. Fire the rear torps. Back, Nabbit. Fire the rear torps. There we go. All right, now let's drop scope and speed up. All right.
shame that we lost our track on our target. No, don't surface the ship. Dive. I don't want you to surface. Got a nice spread out again. Should be five torpedoes. Yep, there's the front, I believe. Okay, that's the rear four. That's the front turning all the way back around. So, let's go ahead and speed up time. if we can't get a hit with this set. We won't talk about this guy that just like wandered off into his own. Yeah. One dud, one detonation. The other two were behind. So we ended up getting a uh, third hit, third torpid on that uh, furry taco. I know we can't see it, unfortunately, but that's the way it goes. And we sunk furry taco. Huge, huge kill. There we go. Let's go ahead and retreat. 8,700 tons of uh, Japanese heavy cruiser sunk. And we still have the moderate damage, moderate flooding on the Takao. That took a lot of torpedoes, but at the end of the day, we managed to get them. So we're doing doing okay. All right. We're, we're whittling away at them, boys. Keep it going. Remember, we're closing in with our power group as well. Okay, let's grab you and lay in a course. Up this direction. All right. Air operations now available. Oh, because it's early or early enough, or late enough in the day. All right, Sneaky Boys Four is heading out. Sneaky Boy Six is up to is heading up to the area. Power Group Two is heading there. Still have not found this guy yet. Get back out there. All right, we've got bombers spotted over top of our power group. I believe those are bombers. Let's begin. All right, let's turn our radar on. Remember, these guys should be a full freaking AA, like this should be all pretty, pretty standard. So uh, let's go ahead and start. See how far out we can detect them. Okay, they are off to our port side.
All right. And restart. All right. Now I kind of want to. Oh, two more. Kind of want to ride along with our battleship here. I think I see him right there. Somebody touched him. Look at this. He's coming back for more. Like not only did he not get the uh, the hint that we don't want him here, but he turned back into my AA like he didn't have enough the first time. Kamikaze! Look out, fellas! Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Serves you right, you scumbag. Alright. Well, that was fun. That took way too long to kill one plane, though. We're gonna have to get those guys uh, gunnery training. Good lord. All right, let's get back out there. Oh, what do we have here? Two destroyers, two light cruisers, three oilers, and three merchants? Yes, please. All right, North Carolina, it's time, baby. You're going to have to get out there and show us what you're made of. Let's begin this engagement. All right, everybody, radar on. All right, where is the shore? Okay, we are a long ways away from shore. I believe they are out in this direction somewhere. So we're gonna go ahead and have Nicholas and Bannon, which I believe, I believe, right? Should be. So Nicholas and Bannon. I 
need you guys to wait. Nicholas and O'Bannon. I need you guys to break off. You guys are going to be your own fleet. Navigate up this way. Uh, let's form up. And then North Carolina, I want you to break apart. Columbia. And San Diego, form up. Okay. San Diego and Columbia also want you guys to navigate up this direction. North Carolina, I want you to navigate in this direction. All right? Let's start this engagement. Now, it's the middle of the day. This is like perfect conditions. This should be a raffle stomp for the ages. As soon as we detect them, bad things should happen. Just make sure that everybody's radar is going. Okay, back to North Carolina. Uh, let's calm down because it appears that San Diego is going to run into you. So slow down North Carolina. the one downside of managing an entire fleet in a circle formation is when you need to change directions, you gotta be careful, they'll run into one another. All right. As soon as the San Diego goes clear, we'll go ahead and speed back up. Now, San Diego is an Atlanta class. Uh, and then we've got, oh God. Come on now, avoid collisions. Alabama slow back down, or North Carolina slow back down. We've got contacts to the north. And these cruisers are just asking to get obliterated by my battleship. At least we know where they're at, so we can go right at them. All right. So the destroyers, we're going to have you guys break off. Where are you at, Nicholas? Let's have you guys go this way. Um, San Diego or Columbia? Columbia is the leader, which is a Cleveland class light cruiser. We're going to have you guys break orders and navigate directly up this direction. At 21 knots is fine. All right, let's get back on North Carolina. And as soon as we get the okay to move, Let's go ahead and start going forward. Navigate you over here. All right. First of all, target. Okay, their front ships are destroyers. We want to go ahead and target that man. We want to classify it. So let's go ahead and classify it. We got dual launchers and very small guns. 
So this is an old destroyer. So this is a destroyer. It honestly could be the Moby. I think it is the Moby. But uh, let's just check other destroyers first. We've got Minikaze. It is not Minikaze. Not enough torps. Could also be Wakataki. Let's look at its weapon system. How many torpedoes does it have? It has four, four torps, whereas Momi has three torps. So it's not Momi. So looking at potentially a Wakataki. Then we've got Kamikaze. It's definitely not Kamikaze. Definitely not the Mitsuki. So I think we're going to be looking at a Wakataki. So let's go ahead and classify it as a Wakataki. We're going to arm the main guns. We're going to be firing HE, full salvo, spotting fire, fire when ready. Let's look at North Carolina's first shells, shall we? Why is my freaking cruisers have a death wish? Like, what are you doing? Slow down. Again. Give me all left rudder. Speed up, you dummy. Oh, we are about to have a collision for the ages. God dang it, man. These guys were out of the way. How did it manage to get right back in the way of my freaking battleship? It makes no sense. Break formation. Speed up. You better kick these turbines into after diverters, man. Seriously. Get those boilers cooking, fellas. Collision imminent. Collision imminent. Oh, get out of there. All right, we good. Good God, man. That is ridiculous. All right, so Columbia and San Diego. Form up. For God's sakes. All right, back to my North Carolina. Speed up. Navigate. Straight at them. All right. Are all the collisions over with? Is everybody else good? All right, pause. Um, Columbia. Target. This guy. Let's go ahead and identify it. This looks like a much more modern cruiser, or destroyer, sorry. Possibly Kagero. But I only see eight tubes, so probably not Kagero. So let's see what we got. I don't think it's Akazuki. So let's go uh, Masashio, possibly. Not Asashio. Shiratsuyu. 
is looking pretty, pretty convincing. All right, I believe we have us a winner, Shiratsuyu. Main guns, HE, full, spotting fire, fire when ready. San Diego, target. Shiratsuyu. Same orders, fire. All right, let's go back to North Carolina. We have an 86 solution. Stop with the spotting fire, just fire full on. What about our secondaries? Are they in range? Might as well go ahead and fire them as well. If they're in range. We've got shells coming in. Uh, Columbia, let's go ahead and increase your speed. Now that everybody's out of the way, let's speed you up. Cleveland class getting ready to get into a fight with some destroyers. I don't think we've hit them yet. I don't think anybody's gotten a hit yet. But it ought to be starting any time. Let's go with uh, HE again, narrow spread, fire. What about you, Columbia? Absolutely. Narrow spread, fire. San Diego, same thing. Narrow spread and fire. Almost feels wrong to actually engage these destroyers with a freaking battleship. Yeah, we've got a big hit on the destroyer already with the main guns. Moderate damage and minor flooding on the Wakatake. After taking a 16-inch shell, at least one. I don't know what they think is going to happen here, but if they think rushing me and dropping torpedoes is an option, I don't think they're going to like the outcome. Big hit. Secondary explosion in the rear, possibly. Maybe an ammo detonation. Still moderate damage and minor flooding on the walkie-talkie, but that was a big secondary explosion. So that's a sign that that fire may be getting out of control. Look at those shots bracketing the freaking destroyer on the right. North Carolina, how we looking as far as ammo goes? You got plenty of ammo. We are firing HE. At a 90%, 89 to 90% freaking solution. Yeah, we are not hitting very often. All right, let's go back to Columbia. Break that navigation. I want you to go right at these guys. They don't have anything I'm worried about. A couple destroyers and a whole bunch of transports. So 
North Carolina. Let's go back to looking at the walkie-talkie. Still only got the one hit so far, which is surprising. That solution's getting better as well. You can see us on the in the distance there. Got us here and the cruisers here. There we got a big hit in the front. Major fire at midship. We got a fire underneath the front. That's got to be probably it. Heavy damage, minor. We got heavy damage and moderate flooding on the. Uh, Sheeran. So we are being effective. And it looks like we may have gotten another hit in the bow. We've got another fire on deck. This thing is burning from stem to stern. It's got to be it. Like, seriously, critical damage, moderate. It's got to be just about done. Let's go ahead and change targets to the light cruiser. Stop and stop. Target this light cruiser. This is a very old light cruiser. We've got four stacks, so that'll be the first thing we're looking for. There we go, four stacks there. Is that the only one? Yeah, Sendai class is the only one with four stacks, so pretty easy identification here. All right, main guns, fire the uh, armor piercing, full salvo, spotting fire, fire when ready. Now our secondaries should still engage this destroyer if we have to. But I don't think we should need to. If we look at report, we have heavy damage and critical flooding on Shira. We have critical damage and heavy flooding on Wakataki. Let's take a look at Shiratsuyu, shall we? Very slow in the water. Shira, and it looks like Walker Talk is actually getting its uh, damage under control, so let's go ahead and switch targets.
firing at the new target. Stop, stop. Target, walk it up. Fire. Fire. Okay, one down. San Diego, target Wakataki. Fire. Wakataki's starting to slow down. I think it's pretty much toast at this point, too. Go ahead and cease fire. Columbia. Yep. All right. Everybody target the Sendai. Fire. Target Sendai. Fire. North Carolina has taken some hits, but it should be all mod like minor. Yeah, it's just minor fires to the front. So nothing too crazy. That's Columbia that's burning. So yeah, just minor damage on Columbia. How you looking? Go ahead and load the AP. Salvos. All right. Now that the main threats are down, let's go ahead and grab our Nicholas division, our Fletchers. Um, have you guys break what you're doing? Make all the speed. Come alongside. All right, let's get aboard Sendai here. These guys are running for the border. We've got to stop them. Guys, making 35 knots in the Sendai. I've never even heard of the Sendai. Go ahead, break the order, navigate up this direction. Just gonna have to keep an eye from North Carolina about possibly running into it. They will be coming across the bow. Should be enough room. They're going really fast compared to us. So. And that being said, North Carolina over here is running at 28 knots. 
Or at least trying to make 28 knots. I don't know exactly. We're doing it. Let's hope. Let's hope Columbia can get around it before it becomes an issue. In fact, let's go ahead and not even think about having that as an issue. Maybe go straight out. That should stop any of that from happening. Sendai has turned across formation. She's pretty beaten up here. Still holding at 29 knots though. Sendai's got moderate damage, moderate flooding. We look at North Carolina, how are we looking? 80%? Okay. We're good there. Columbia and them doing a uh, spotting fire, they are not. Columbia is the closest target. I mean, just out of curiosity, what if we do shoot, shoot AP? Where are the AP? Don't carry a whole lot of ammo. It's disconcerting. It means our Cleveland class of percent solution. Come on. Landed some hits, man. Significant fire under the deck. Come on now. You would think these guys would be hitting a lot more. Ninety-six percent solution. Ninety-eight. It's flickering back and forth. Still heavy damage, moderate flooding on uh, Sendai. We are catching up to them. That's good news.
Let's just go ahead and cease fire with the, uh, the battleship. We're wasting the ammo. We might need that in a bigger fight. We're up to a 99% solution. I mean, this is all but dead in the water, right? We should be able to pretty much kill them at any point. There's a big hit. That's what we like to see. And another fire broke out. Four, four chip. And fire has spread to the deck. Report. Critical damage, moderate flooding on the uh, Sendai. Still holding at 22 knots though, it's far from being dead in the water. We're scoring more hits though. Come on, baby. Put him out of his. down to 19 knots. San Diego, what are you doing, man? What's your orders? You're supposed to be following waypoints, but you are nowhere near. Let me just go ahead and break you from the formation, give you your own orders. Chase after those guys as fast as you can. I'm going to have you go ahead and target this light cruiser, which we will also classify as a Sendai. It's the only one with four stacks, so... Go with AG, Narrows, Fire. Hold that. Stop, stop, target, the Sendai. Fire the guns. Um, let's have you go ahead and break. Navigate instead up this direction. And they should already be firing. We're at a 60% solution if on the uh, second Sendai. This guy's basically dead in the water. Reduced to just seven, seven knots now. Scoring a lot of good hits. We're almost out of AP in the front turrets. Damage heavy flooding now on Sendai number one. Down. Come on, guys, finish them off. Big explosion there. Hopefully, that's enough to finish her off. Change target. Stop, stop. Change target to this 
guy. HE, arrow, hold fire. Let's go ahead and have you target the Sendai as well. Stop, stop. Make sure you're targeting the correct ship. Navigate. There. Columbia. Navigate. Is it there? Oh, Bannon. Again, what are you doing? You're supposed to be following Nicholas. Bannon and Nicholas in a freaking division together, but clearly not. Target this guy. hasn't sunk yet. I want to make sure he does. Let's go manual fire. Fire. Here. Salvo. Columbia. You're firing H, or you're firing AP for some reason. Fire HE. The guy's turned away from you. Carolina. Fire. We do have him slowed down to 20 knots now.
Uh, we can't speed up time. Sendai is up to 29 knots again. Breaking from the group. Let's have you target this guy. Stop, stop, target this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and classify it as a merchant ship. Fire the guns. not have HE, or we don't have any AP, okay, so we have to fire HE in. That's fine. Fire the guns. Unless you don't have the range, it is at 17,000 yards. North Carolina, go ahead and break your course. Navigate here. No, I said break, dang it. Navigate here. Navigate here. How many rounds you got left? Getting awfully low. Well, let's go ahead and start firing the HE again. This guy is all the way back up to 35 knots. Columbia is still shooting at him. Columbia is actually taking another fire. How are we looking? We got some minor damage. Overall, not too, not too crazy. You've not been firing your guns this entire time. Oh my God. No ammunition for the AP or HE at the front guns. And what about the rear guns? Can you at least fire the rear guns? If not, I'm going to take manual control, give you a broadside so you can actually fire your dark guns. I can't believe the uh, Cleveland classes don't have more ammo. It's such a large, light cruiser. got the rear guns firing.
back up to 25 knots again. Well, that was a massive hit. That'll slow him down. That was a good salvo right there. He's down below 20 knots now. Report. Critical damage, critical flooding. Let's go ahead and change targets. Identify this is another merchant ship. Nicholas, we're going to need you to target this guy. What we got? This is an oiler, so we will class it as an oiler. So, it is a oiler. Target that man. Fire the gun. Diego, how are you doing? Not even hit your target. Come on now. I say that, you immediately get a hit. Very nice. Need all of those. I hate to do it, but I'm about to. We got 54 HE shells left, so we're going to target this guy, which is another merchant ship. And fire the guns. So Bannon's so far back that he's not going to be able to do anything. Report. We have moderate damage, no flooding on Kamigaru Maru. Uh, we have no damage on the other two yet. We've got minor damage. On our, the oil Starting to get a lot more hits. Explosive. This 
should do some serious damage on the number 10. Let's look at the report for number 10, shall we? Yeah, moderate damage, moderate flooding, immediate. I hate using my battleship to take out transports, but I don't want these guys to get away. We're already heavily invested in this episode. Don't want to waste it. turning to try to get my rear guns to fire. Once my rear guns start firing, we're going to let it turn a little bit more. Kamagaru Maru. That was the one that uh, North Carolina was shooting at. So let's go ahead and change targets. This is another oiler, so let's go ahead and call it an oiler. And how many more HE shells? 24 HE shells. Fire the AG. How's this guy looking? damage and none. Critical damage, moderate flooding. Minor damage, no flooding, sunk. So yeah, we're, we're getting there guys. Almost over. We've at least got these guys away from running at the border. back here, I think that's pretty much it. This thing is in bad, bad shape. It's down to seven knots now. Finish them off. We're playing with your food, San Diego. How cute. We got one cut. 
coming back. He must think he's a friggin' uh, cruiser or something. Alright, we'll deal with this oiler in a moment. Just gotta finish this guy first. He's holding steady at seven knots, we ain't getting enough hits. is shooting at this guy who seems to be doing very slowly all right San Diego change targets to this guy we will classify him as an oiler all right start firing the guns as soon as you get above 50%, I will go ahead. Let's hold fire. All right, we're at 60%. Go ahead and start firing your guns. Honestly, we ought to be close enough to uh, this nip on Maru here to target it and use our secondaries. Seven thousand yards out. All right. So we've got the secondaries turning to fire. Pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and have North Carolina turn. Target this guy. And fire. You can go ahead and slow down as well. inch guns of the uh, North Carolina and the 5 inch guns of the San Diego. Huge hits. The secondaries are absolutely devastating. Just ripping them apart. to make these secondary gunners our main gunners. Good Lord, look at this actors. Down he goes. Target him. Go ahead, fire the secondaries. And let's go ahead and turn to the right. Let our secondaries on the left side get some action. All right, well, let's 
look at the last ship, who's almost down anyway. It's gonna go down as a pretty successful raid, if you ask me. We learned some valuable things. Cleveland class cruisers do not come with a lot of ammo, which is unfortunate. Also, five inch secondaries of the battleship are absolutely devastating. They are very effective. This guy's all but sunk at this point. We're just wasting ammo. Successful convoy raider, right here. All right, finish ball, fellas. Quit playing with your food. He's done. He's dropping now below five knots. He is dead in the water. Alright, let's go ahead and cease fire on my battleship. Cease fire. Okay, we're not we're not shooting with anything other than my destroyer at this point. Shouldn't be anyway. And down he goes. Alright guys. I'd say that was a pretty successful fight. We get to leave with uh, minor damage, but nothing too crazy yeah actually nobody actually ended up with any damage this time the minor damage and minor flooding from North Carolina was from prior so we did pretty good all in all we sunk 10 ships 62,000 tons to the bottom of the sea 57 new command points so hopefully you guys enjoyed I know it's a long series it's gonna be a long series we're only getting a day maybe two days each episode so if you like what I'm doing Punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.